What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Weekly Ranking Show. And we have some big changes in the top 10 for the men and some career-high rankings for a lot of players on the men and women's tour. Let's go to the list. All right, so starting with the men's rankings, you can see we've got Novak Djokovic. He's still number one in the world. Daniel Medvedev stays at number two for now, closely followed by Rafa Nadal. Dominic Team at number four. The Monte Carlo champion, Sidzi Pat, stays at number five in the rankings this week. Alexander Zverev is number six. Roger Federer, he drops down to number eight in the world, while Andre Rublev, the finalist of Monte Carlo, he goes up a spot and takes the number seven spot, which is a career high ranking for him. So a massive change there. Then we have Diego Schwartzman at number nine and Matteo Berrettini is wrapping up the top 10. Let's go have a look at the race to Turin, which is the ATP finals this year. And we have a new number one. Stefano Tsitsipas, he takes top spot, goes up three spots to the number one position, has the most ranking points for the year, followed by Andre Rublev, who goes up one spot from number three to number two. Novak Djokovic, the number one from last week, he drops down two spots to number three. And Daniel Medvedev also drops two spots down to number four. So some big changes there. At number five, we have the Miami Open champion, Hubert Hurkacz. Number six, Karatsev. Number seven, Yannick Sinner. Alexander Zverev rounds out the top eight, but he is followed very closely behind by Batista Agu. And Kasper Ruud, he jumps into the top 10, going up 28 spots after his run to the semifinals of Monte Carlo. All right, let's have a look at the, some of the players outside the top 10 who have gone up the rankings this week on the ATP. We have Yannick Sinner. He's at a career high ranking. He's gone up three spots into the top 20 for the first time at number 19. And Dan Evans, after a great week last week, beating Djokovic, making the Monte Carlo semifinals, he's gone up to a career high number 26, which is seven spots higher than last week. Having a look at the players that have dropped down the rankings this week on the ATP, and it was the finalist from Monte Carlo two years ago, Fanini, of course, the champion of Monte Carlo. He's gone nine spots down after failing to defend those points, down to 27 now. And Lajovic, who made the final at Monte Carlo two years ago, he's gone down six spots to number 30 after a poor performance this week. Okay, jumping over to the women's top 10 for the week. And there are no changes because we didn't have any of the big players playing last week. So Ash Barty, she stays at number one. Naomi Osaka is at number two this week. Simona Halep at number three. Sophia Kennan, she stays at number four. Svetalina is number five. Andrescu stays at number six. Sabalenka at number seven. Very close behind is Serena Williams at number eight. Pliskova just behind her at number nine. And Kvitova rounds out the top 10. Let's go have a look at the race to Shenzhen, which is the WT finals for this year. And again, no changes to the top 10. With the Australian Open champion, Naomi Osaka, she is up the top of the list at number one. Ash Barty, Miami Open champion, she's at number two. Muguruza, who's had a great season, she's at number three, just behind Barty. The Australian Open finalist, Brady, she's at number four. Kudamatova at number five, having a couple of good weeks. Mertens, she's at number six. Sabalenka at number seven after her great start to the season. Pagula at number eight after a great run at the Australian Open. Closely followed by Serena Williams at number nine, and the French Open champion of last year, Sviontek, rounds out the top 10. Looking over to the WTA now, going up the rankings, Jabor, after making a final last week, goes to a career high number 25, that's two spots higher than last week, and the Charleston champion of last week, Sharma, who won her first title on the WTA, she's gone up to 120 in the world, up a whopping 45 spots, beating Jabor in the final. Let's go have a look at some of the players that have dropped down the rankings on the WTA. We have Krajikova, she's gone down four spots to number 42. Two. And Angelique Kerber, she goes down another spot now at 26 in the world. So there they are, the rankings for the week. A couple of changes in the top 10 for the men. And I'll tell you what, Stefano Tsitsipas, what a year he's having. He is having the best year out of everybody now. If you look at his ranking on the race to Turin, he's won more points than anybody thanks to Monte Carlo this week. And of course, he made the semi finals of the Australian Open as well and the Acapulco finals. So he's having a great season. Let me know down in the comments below who are you most excited about on the race to the finals? You know, you've got the race to Turin, starting to shake up a little bit now after a couple of big events and also the race to Shenzhen. It's really starting to shape up there. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any shockers there for you. So some changes in the rankings this week and some players getting career high rankings.